All right, everybody. So uh, we've been driving this truck. My son's been driving his uh, truck since, uh, well, basically March of this year. And we thought that we would go ahead and post the final video of this project. So if you guys have been uh, watching in on our vids, we're uh, kind of down to the final wire here. And we thought we'd go ahead and uh, give you a little bit of last information. What we did to this to finalize it, and hopefully this will help you out in your project. Number one is, my son, I was telling you that uh, he's been working his butt off this year. He's been working for a lawn service, and uh, he was able to pay cash for his uh, wheels and tires, and he's here to tell you about it. So, so. Before I started driving, I knew I wanted some wheels and tires. So uh, I, was, I looked around for a long time, and uh, I came around Moto Metal wheels, and uh, they're 17 by 9 and uh they have an offset of nine and i think they're around i think i bought them for around eight hundred dollars for a set of four and i found these neato ridge grapplers and uh they're at 285 7017s uh all-terrain tire and uh for the whole package it was around seventeen hundred dollars so it wasn't wasn't too bad for that i mean uh, they're pretty quiet aren't they yeah they are Yep, they're they're good. So uh, we did up the size like we was talking about, and um, the truck pulls it very well. He went ahead and got him a, a toolbox that he's going to use to throw his uh, duck decoys in. Uh, we did go ahead and, and head and finish up the exhaust on this as well. We've taken this exhaust straight out the side, and uh, it's a straight exhaust. There's no no muffler, nothing on it. We uh, it comes directly off the turbo. We built that ourselves, come down, um, and had everything done. It is a full three inch with no, um, it's all mandrel bent. Uh, we bought everything off of eBay to make that and to keep that same diameter size through and through on the exhaust. So we got our flow. So <clears throat> give it a little walk around. Um, I think the other videos that we've shown, everything is pretty much the same on the truck minus the wheels and tires and a new little dent that has imaginably happened from a 16 year old i won't say what or how but we'll just leave it at that all right so number one it has been extremely hot where we live at and when i say hot it's been uh 95 97 uh, last uh, week or so the truck has been performing great um We've done a few little things to it, but nothing major. Well, one thing that we did have to do was uh, we did have to change the belt out. Number one error was don't do this. Don't go buy a cheap serpentine belt to get your exact inches on your belt. Okay, because a cheap serpentine belt versus a Gates belt, there's a huge difference. And we had to go through the hassle of finding the right inch belt all over again. So don't do that. Get some Gates belts, find out what your length is, and work with Gates and Gates only, okay? It will help you out a bunch. Um, number one issue we had was the uh, AC compressor. The bolts holding it on that we had actually broke. So what we did is we went and got some grade 8 bolts and put that in there. And then um, I welded this little brace on right here. And that's... Yep, and I went ahead and welded this as well, um, just to kind of hold those two together. Now, since we did that, um, this taken a little bit, we had a little bit of vibration, took in that, uh, taking that completely out, no more issues. We've got approximately, oh, I, I think we got almost 5,000 miles on this truck since we've been driving it. So, um, it's been doing good. The transmission is doing extremely well, no issues there. Cooling-wise, like I said, the cooling fans have been working great um, they never come on nor does the truck even get hot cruising down the road it stays right at 180 degrees cruising down the road even if it's like today 96 degrees outside um, sitting still at idle the fans kick on and off just like they should keeps everything nice and cool so um, doing well there um, so the the brakes have been working great uh, with the hydro boost no issues there it's got uh, great braking power um, fuel mileage so the fuel mileage i'm sure everybody's curious about number one is 
it's still getting just above 20 miles a gallon. So um, on average, my son, he drives a couple miles to school. Um, his boss lives a mile from the house and in town is three miles. So it's mainly, you know, short little drives and we're getting a tad bit over 20 miles uh, per gallon. So if you was to take it on the interstate and take off, I, I'm still guessing it probably still get around 23, 24 miles a gallon and going down the roadway. Um, the other day, um, I had 1,400 pounds. The toolbox wasn't in here. Um, I just got done with a big roofing job on our house and had to take some back to Lowe's. Had 20 bundles of shingles in the back, and they're 70 pounds each. So we was looking at right around 1,400 pounds, and I drove it about 15 miles to get back to Lowe's, and that included an interstate to do that, and this thing did great. Um, you could definitely tell the weight was in the truck, but power-wise, it had everything just like uh, a V8 did. So I was very well pleased with that, and uh, everything seems to be working great so far. So I'll step around here on this side where the exhaust is. I'll have my son, uh, Ethan, fired up and uh, let you see and hear what the exhaust sounds like. All right, so we're gonna shut the hood. We're gonna take you guys for a drive. And here we go. He's got his 15 little trees hanging and all his duck calls. So he's he's ready to go hunting. Acceleration is good. Um, you know, it's for a diesel, you know, first gear, that's the grunt gear. Um, we still have the stock governor in it, but uh, it does well. So that was uh, basically just a normal takeoff. Um, nothing too heavy on the accelerator pedal, pedal, just a regular drive. And uh, you know, uh, I'm sure if you cranked in a, a 3200 Governor Spring, I'm sure it would be really nice. Uh, give you a little bit more RPM and pick up your speed. Um, but uh, we kind of shifted like a stick shift almost with this switches that we're running down here I'll let you let him run through the switches for you
all right so that's it tell you what I hope you uh, hope you've all enjoyed the nice little project that my son and I have done we've we've had some good days we've had a couple of headaches but all in all it's been good um, one thing that you're gonna find is that my son and I have both had people stop us at gas stations at Lowe's at, at different places and walk up to us and say is that a Cummins in that truck we go yes it is so what a cool project Ethan's got his Cummins badge in the back window that tells it all so there it is and uh, you guys uh, comment tell me what you guys thought it's uh, the last bit on this project unless for some reason we throw something else in there what else are you gonna do to it Ethan a lot of stuff still got a lot of stuff to do to it yep he's wanting to put some uh, fender flares on it what'd you get in the mail here just yesterday <laughs> I've got a little uh, semi semi horn that I'm gonna I'm gonna put in this thing <laughs> It's got a little semi horn, a big air horn. It uh, comes with an air pump, and uh, I guess he's gonna blast some people off the road with it. There's one thing I gotta say about the, uh, the tires. Uh, they're 285, 70 centimeters, like I said. We did have to shave off a little up and up in the front because it was rubbing a little bit. So unless you have a lift or something, you could go bigger. But for this. Um, for a stock like this, I think 285, 7017s would be the biggest tire you could put on it. Yeah. So, but it does it does fit very nicely though. Good good choice. Um, he did spend a lot of time trying to figure that one out, and uh, he made the decision, and uh, we put them on there. Had our fingers crossed. We bought those off of eBay. eBay is the cheapest place, man, for these tires. I'll I'll tell you and that the straight wheels. up. The wheels yeah, and the wheels, right? Yeah. So. Uh, I think, how much did you save all together by buying everything? Um, we went to a um, dealership that sold wheels and tires, and for the same ones, it would have cost us around, um, I think it was like 2200 for for the same wheels and tires, but off of eBay, we got them for 17 Yeah, so. so he saved about $400 by shopping around. Um, took them into town, so I mounted them for, I think it was like 60 bucks. so yeah, you gotta minus that, but uh, all in all, uh, great tires and I've heard some really good reviews that tire shop always kind of getting some prices on they highly recommend these uh, nitto tires so it's uh, it is so everybody thanks for watching comment down below and uh, I've never said this on my videos but uh, hit the like button and please subscribe we're gonna have some more videos coming on uh, some other different topics and uh, if you heard early on in my 4BT Chevrolet half ton K1500 swap. My next swap is going to be my 2004 Ford F 150 four door. It's getting a Cummins. So maybe a year from now, but it'll be coming. Thanks for watching.